Hello guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. And so for today's video, we will be fixing this very important piece of machinery that can affect the operation of our main engine. In this video, you will see the proper insulation resistance check of our electrical motor as well as the cleaning of the magnetic contactor for this big motor. So come and join me in this new learning. Since this is a main engine and every time it runs, it produces heat. Which only means that we need to have a means of cooling this main engine. And that's why we have this main engine jacket cooling fresh water system. Which means we have a pump that will circulate this fresh water going to our main engine which will then maintain the temperature of around 80 to 85 degrees Celsius. But for today, this number 2 main engine jacket freshwater cooling pump is giving this abnormal alarm. And so I switch off the unit and then I need to check what is the condition of our electrical system. As soon as I open the control panel, I check this overcurrent relay which is now in a tripped position. Since it was tripped and this is a very big motor, I don't want to keep on trying to run it so that we will avoid damaging the winding of the electrical motor. Please ensure that the system is completely dead before touching anything into our control panel. This is for our own safety. And as you can see, I am not getting any more voltage into the lines, so it is now safe to open this contactor. Just like what I have said, since this is a very big motor, it is much better for everyone to check first the electrical system. If, let's say, we have a single facing, that is why the current relay is tripped. And as you can see, the contacts of our main contactor is a little bit dirty but measuring these contacts i am getting a good continuity cleaning these main contactors is also part of the preventive maintenance system on board to check the continuity of the contactor you just need to activate it manually and then flip your multimeter into the resistance and check the contacts one by one and as you can see I am getting 0 0.2 ohms in every contacts so it means that we do not have any single facing into our main contactor and since this is already opened might as well to clean all these contacts I normally use contact cleaner spray and this sandpaper after that, I box it up and we can now proceed in resetting this OCR and then we will go to the pump side. So I've decided to open the access panel for the pump and then try if I can rotate the pump. In which after trying to rotate it by hand, I cannot rotate it even a single movement. So it means this is the main reason why we have this overcurrent relay tripped. At this point, we do not know if the problem is coming from the motor side or onto the pump side. So the next thing that I did is to check the insulation resistance of this electrical motor windings. Although we already isolated the main circuit breaker, it is still a must 
for our own safety to check the voltage of our lines. We never know, maybe sometimes the nameplate is mistakenly put into our panel. So after that, I remove one by one the connections including the plates connected in every line. For others, they do not remove anymore these plates but I have my own reasons for this and I have already made a separate vlog on to the checking of this insulation resistance. So the first step I did is to check the insulation resistance tester if it is measuring a good ground and then I proceeded to the line to ground checking which I am getting more than 10 giga ohms of resistance. By the way, I set up our IR tester into 500 volts, which is the same as the ratings of our electrical motor. After that, I proceeded in checking the continuity of our line to line, which I am getting a good connectivity. So it means that our electrical motor windings is in good condition. So I boxed it up and went to the engine control room to inform our engineers that we need to isolate the electrical motor and the pump to see if which one is causing or restricting the rotation of this. In this way, we will know if the problem is coming from the electrical motor bearings or into our pump. It is very important that you should know on how to do the proper checking of this insulation resistance as well as this winding check so that you will not disturb other people in this kind of job. So after lifting up our electrical motor, we found out that there is something wrong with this pump. So the engine crew just corrected the space in between the pump and to the coupling and after correcting this one the electrical motor is now free moving so to compare just like your car the jacket freshwater cooling system is just like the radiator in it this serve as the cooling system of our main engine and without this it will overheat our main engine. By the way, an increase of this jacket cooling fresh water temperature will cause a slowdown into our main engine as well. So that's it guys. I hope you learned something from this video. And this is your Lucky Jake and see you.